Hey guys, it's me Hika and today I'm here with the objective of sharing with you my thoughts that made me question uh, several things if not my existence and by me putting those thoughts out there it will help me express myself. It's like a therapy session, the only thing is that I'm still at the waiting room waiting for my turn. The other objective of this video would be seeing if am I the only one who is dealing with these same questions. So it's pretty much two birds, one stone. It's been a minute since I made any video. Last one was about two weeks. And that's because I've had to do so much. I felt like doing nothing except sitting in my bed or playing video games. Which by the way, it's totally normal. I believe being unproductive is just as important as being productive. You gotta find that balance between the two of them. But first, I wanna talk more about myself to give you an overview of where I'm coming from, which will serve the purpose of this video. Or maybe it will give you an idea of why those questions were triggered in the first place. So that takes me to my next point. Like I said, I've been playing video games for the last two weeks, but I wanna talk specifically about the game that I was playing which goes under the name Sekiro Die Twice which was the game of the year in 2019 but for those who didn't hear about it this game is known to be the hardest game ever made the enemies in this game are one of the smartest well-made AIs in the history of video games every boss have a different way to fight <laughs> If I stand still, a snake cannot smell me. Come on now, that, that move isn't gonna work. What am I, second grade? I know this. What the fuck? What the? No! 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 What? What the fuck? Uh, besides the difficulty of the game, I noticed something else. Something that really got my attention, even though it's not the first time I encounter such a thing. But this time, somehow, it got my attention to the point it made me overthink like crazy. So the thing is, the XP system, and for the fellas non-gamers out there, I'll explain what this system made for. So basically, there is this XP points that you get from fighting like killing enemies, and every time you reach a certain amount of points, you can pretty much use them to learn new things. Only on this game, you only can keep those points if you survive, because the moment you die, you lose them, and with that, you can't really evolve or neither earn new skills. Alright, I know some of you, if not all of you, are wondering what the fuck is that have to do with anything. Well, hold up, Ronnie J. The reason I'm talking about that because somehow I relate to that. Some of you might ask how. Well, my life for the past five years has been just as fucking difficult as the system is. Every time I start making progress, earning new experiences, something happens along the way that ruins that process and make me lose all the progress that I made. I start from the beginning. I find myself in this infinite loop where I'm stuck. I'm stuck at a point in my life where I don't know what the fuck to do to keep on going. It feels like at some point of my life, I missed something. Like I didn't earn a skill that allowed my life to be easier. I'm stuck. I can't get past that. And that's mainly because as a kid, I was super shy. I was too nervous to interact in person. And that mainly was because I was raised by an overprotective parents. I didn't start doing things until I was a teenager. So pretty much most of my childhood good memories were revolved on video games. Just me in my bedroom playing and that was my way to make friends and be happy. I would say video games to me are without a doubt the best human creation. Video games is an escape from reality, a place where I'm the best version of me. Because of video games, I've slayed an entire legion of demons, fight off CERN of hostile, saved or ended countless amounts of lives, preserved life and made meaningful moral choices, and doing all of that while bringing no harm to anything in real life. I can say my life has more than been fulfilled just because I lived and experienced not only one life, but several ones, thanks to video games. 
I'm Hika. I'm Gordon Freeman. I'm Geralt of Rivia. I'm Batman. I'm Spider-Man. I'm Venom Snake. I'm Ezio Auditore. I'm Max and Chloe. I'm Joel and Ali. I'm Leon. I'm Dovahkiin. I'm Sirius Sam. I'm Low Wang. I'm the Doom Marine. I'm a Space Marine. I'm the Ashen One. I'm Stan Lee. I'm Minch Bag. I'm all of these. And more. And myself. In another way, I've always relate on video games. Big time. That made me miss out on a lot of basic things in life, like how to start a small talk with a totally random person, or how to stop having panic attack every time someone make an eye contact with me. Small basic things like that, that shouldn't be hard to do. I'm not here specifically to talk about my social awkwardness, but rather something else. I reached a point of my life where I was no longer capable of playing video games. I came a little bug and I had to go study in university where it was far away from home. And the part that sucks wasn't that I'm not gonna play video games, but rather it was that I didn't even chose what I wanted to study. I was pushed to do something I wasn't into, which again, parents, but I won't blame them. I could have stand and confronted them that I didn't want to pursue that, but instead I accepted their orders because a big part of me didn't even know what he wanted. And we all know the lack of options in university, but there it's almost impossible to choose something that you like. And that's sadly our reality that every student in this country deal with. So yeah, three years of university that fucked me so hard that I couldn't walk for a while. I was in a dark place. I could easily say that it was the lowest point in my life. I was suicidal, I hated my life, I hated myself and I was just exhausted mentally and physically. I remember waiting like 54 kg. That's how bad things were. Just the fact of waking up every day doing something you don't like or you don't want to do will eat you alive. Every morning as I was preparing to go to university, I will be met with a wave of relentless mental pressure. So I just skipped classes just to feel the relief of anxiety. Anxiety. And you know, it's not like We all know If somehow I can afford to go to one I probably wouldn't even find an actual good therapist The only motivation I had is to do whatever it takes to graduate Not for the sake of Shahada But more for escaping that place For 3 years I had no friends Except people like Anikromayo But I never had any chemistry with them but in 2019, I finally graduated. It was supposed to be a highlight of my life. I've always dreamed of graduating and as a kid, you know, But that moment was so empty. I didn't feel anything but sadness. But it made me realize, even though it was the worst three years of my life, uh, I learned that sometimes even a bad experience can be good for you. You are probably asking, how is that? Well, imagine for example being in a car accident, which is a horrible thing that I don't wish anybody to go through, but let's say, and you had one, how possibly can this be a good thing? Well, maybe, just maybe, the reason you had this accident in the first place is because you were speeding or because you were on the phone while driving so it's a lesson for you to not repeat those mistakes again in the future and maybe you can prevent that from happening again so just like i had the worst experience in university i was thrown away in a big hole and i had to find a way out and after trying and trying over and over i did and i'm here I'm alive, I'm better than ever, and if I was ever chosen to change history, I wouldn't. Those years made me who I am today, I've came a long way and I'm truly, truly proud of myself. Even though I'm still struggling daily to be the best version of me, but at least I'm trying and that's what matters the most. So yeah, that was my random thoughts. I will be doing some of these maybe in the future whenever I feel like expressing myself or whenever I have a mental breakdown uh, I mean I hope I wouldn't 
I hope you enjoyed the video or at least came with one positive thing from it. Uh, I love you all and happy quarantine everybody. Stay safe and remember, it always gets worse before it gets better. <laughs>